I'm so tired and there's always so much to do. There are people to see, places to go, and things that need done. The clothes need washed, sorted, and put away. The bills need written, and floors need swept. There are documents that need to be found, and trips made to the DMV. Thinking about it makes me tired. And that is how I could feel so much of the time, but there is a source of strength outside myself, and that is Christ Jesus. The Christ that formed the world by himself and created all things, and who is also holding all things together, he is my source of strength if I allow him to be. He invites all the weak and the weary to come to him. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. Come to Jesus, you who are struggling with self-doubt. Come to Jesus, you who have labored long for religion without finding rest. Come, you who are mired in addiction and shame. Come as you are, just as long as you come. You can lay all these burdens down. You can experience rest and a glorious peace. Once you do, you will find an other invitation from Jesus, and that is to experience him as your source of strength. You do not have to do this on your own. There's a beautiful scripture found in Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. It is Christ who strengthens. It is he who gives us peace. We only need to come to him and let him do his work. It is then that we can truly do all things, not because it is not because it is us, but Christ it is who does this, working out his testimony for the world to see. When the world sees the work of humble, broken people changing the world, they will know it is of Christ and not of us, and he is glorified in this. There is so much glory to be had when Christ is given free reign to work in us and through us, and there is even a reward afterward which we cannot even now fathom. Another principle Along with this is found at Matthew 16, 25. It says this, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Don't go out into the world seeking the life and purpose for which to live. Let God daily guide you into the life and purpose he has for you. The picture he's painting is too broad to understand on our own. Simply follow in his footsteps and read his word daily for direction. Die to the life he would live, and you will truly find your life. It is true, plain and simple. I cannot add anything to this because it alone is the truth. Live for Jesus and you will find your life. Not only this, but in John 10, 10, it says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. If you want the true life and the abundant life and a life with strength, it is yours for the taking. The abundant and true life begins first when we accept salvation from sin and death, you see. All of us entered into the world as sinners. We have all broken God's commandment not to lie, steal, hate one another, and so on. The Bible says that for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The penalty for sin is death in a fiery hell. But Jesus made a way out for us when we confess to him that we are sinners and ask him for forgiveness and believe that he is God, that he died on the cross for our sins and rose again the third day. The invitation is in Revelation 22:17, And let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. John 3:16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The water of life is for whosoever will, according to Revelation 22:17. John 3:16 says, Whosoever believeth. There are no qualifications. Whosoever. That is you. That is me. That is everyone, friend. God loves you with an everlasting love and wants to take your burdens today. Whatever they are, lay them at the cross and bring them to Jesus. He has the power to overcome. He overcame death and the grave and rose again. Believe on him today. May God bless you abundantly, friend.